to a big new Space Marine Battle Force giveaway, a new Auspex Tactics painting competition, and possibly a small audio upgrade for the channel. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics for another quick channel update and a very happy new year to all of you. Today we're just talking about a few things that are happening in and around the channel and what to expect going forwards. So firstly, as is always the priority, let's talk videos. I must admit December has been a massive month for the channel. I've had a little bit more free time on my hands and it's been pretty nice to really churn out the videos, including working on a few projects that have had my eye on for a while now. Perhaps some of the ones that went down best with people were the Witch Army to Collect in 40k video. I think it's quite important to keep on updating that one every so often. I'm going to try and aim to redo it once a year. As with the rate of Games Workshop releases and all their balance changes, 40k advice videos do tend to go out of date very quickly indeed. It was quite fun looking at some of the 5 strongest units in 40k as well. I know that's perhaps a bit arbitrary, but I think it's kind of useful to talk through some of the strongest things in the game and why they're good. And I was kind of surprised at just how well that 7 examples of cheating video went down. I guess it's perhaps a part of the hobby that isn't quite as regularly discussed, at least not focusing quite so much as to what's actually done, I suppose. Games Workshop certainly been keeping me really busy with the news, teasers, and previews. Even despite no codex is actually releasing in December, they've had loads coming, including that big Christmas Day reveal with the Eldar and Chaos. I think that's the first time I've actually made a video on Christmas Day. But to be honest, when you have something that's genuinely interesting to talk about, it really doesn't feel like work too much, and sometimes it's not the worst to have a little bit of downtime. I quite enjoyed covering the Assassins as well. We're going to be doing something similar for the Inquisitors fairly shortly, so thanks very much to people who voted on the Patreon poll to pick that video. In general, it's just been a really positive month over December. A massive thank you to all you guys who are liking and subscribing and watching and things. We're now up to 125k subs on the channel, an absolutely monumental number, and I think December might be one of the highest months for views that we've ever had. As always, that's very humbling, and a big thank you to every one of you. To be honest though, January looks like it's going to be even busier, and as per normal, I've got far, far more video ideas that I'd like to make than I actually have time to produce. It seems there's about five codexes on the horizon at the moment, Custodes and Gene Steeler Colts this week, then the Tau Empire, and the Eldar and Chaos probably following fairly close behind. Sounds like I'm going to have a busy weekend, I'll try and get the Custodes video out first, followed closely by the Gene Steeler Colts, I'm looking forward to delving into those new codexes. Hopefully those videos should both be out within a week of today, depending on how much time I have to plough into them. Codex reviews do take absolutely ages. Otherwise, in the works, I've got an Inquisition 9th edition review, I start collecting Tyranids video that I've been planning for a while now, and at some point I'm going to try and make that 1000 point starter force for each 40k faction. That was another one that was voted on by the channel's Patreons, though that's going to take a serious amount of time to make, so it's likely to get pushed back a bit by all these codexes coming out. Still, good to have lots to talk about, and I'll try and keep some interesting stuff coming. Giveaways next, and as previously mentioned, the January one is for two copies of the Shadow Throne box. Thanks for everyone who entered on the Patreon page and on the Facebook page. I can now reveal that the winners of that are Danny Clark and Anthony Wood. I've heard back from Anthony, that should be in the post fairly shortly, and Danny, if you'd like to check your messages if you're watching, I'll have that out in the post very shortly. I thought for February it might be fun to go for a couple of the Space Marine Shieldbreaker Strike Forces. That's basically two copies of the Space Marine Battle Force box over Christmas, the one with absolutely tons of intercessors, and the relatively recent Primaris Storm Speeder. I believe in total it's ten regular intercessors, ten assault intercessors, five heavy intercessors, three Blade Guard veterans, and a Primaris Captain, and of course the Storm Speeder that you can build as any one of those three variants. Seems like a fairly good start for a Space Marine army, or a decent reinforcement to the chapter's battle line. If you'd like to be in a chance to win that one, there's two ways to enter, as always. Either you can support the channel's Patreon page, the link's down in the video description, or you can support the channel on social media by subscribing to the YouTube channel, liking the Facebook page, again down in the video description, and then the actual draw is done on a Facebook post, and that one appears for 24 hours on the first of each month. To actually enter the giveaway that way, simply post a picture of a 40k model or imagery, along with your name and the date handwritten within the same photo. That bit's just to try and have some defence against bots. From there, I tally up all the entries, and pick the two winners with a random number generator, and I'll announce the winners in the channel update video at this time next month. So if you'd like to be in with a chance of winning that one, check out the links to both of those things down in the video description. Well, on the subject of Patreon, I thought I'd just quickly mention the various benefits that you do get for supporting the channel. Of course, the Patreon page is the main way that I can afford to continue full-time on YouTube, and keep on making videos the entire year round, even if YouTube cuts ad revenue in half in January. 
a massive thank you to all the patrons of the channel, you do make a massive difference, and I try and put as many rewards for the patrons as I possibly can, you get to see a video early every week, I believe the one at the moment is about Overwatch tactics in 9th, you get the automatic entry to that prize giveaway every month, you can vote in polls for the next videos coming out, access to a unique Discord role, and then plenty of other things for higher tier patrons, getting your name into the end credits, discussing army lists and things, all the way up to specific video requests if there's anything that fits in with the channel's purpose and you really want to see Maze. Again, the link's in the video description if any of that interests you. Next up, we're going to be running another painting competition on the channel's Discord server. Again, like the rest, linked in the video description below. The Discord server is a really nice place. You can leave ideas for new videos for me, discuss 40k things with other hobbyists around the world, and there's just some very lovely people there. This painting competition has been spearheaded by Mr. H157, one of the Discord mods, and a massive thank you to him for doing that. The painting contest is just a way to get some of your miniatures to be featured on the channel. Treat us all to some nice paint jobs, and there's a couple of small prizes for the winners. To enter, you need to go to the contest entrance channel that's towards the bottom of the Discord chats, and to enter, you've got to come up with a unpainted or base-coated model, and alongside your Discord tag and the date, handwritten within the same picture. So if you are currently in the middle of painting something, this will be for your next project. There is a fair bit of time to enter, this is going to be running all the way to the 31st of March. When you're done with your paint job, submit it to the final submissions channel, and we'll be voting on a short list of the 10 best entries by myself and the moderators. They'll all get their miniatures featured on a similar video to this in April, and there'll be a public vote to determine the winner. First prize is a character model less than £30 from Games Workshop, and three paints of your choice, and second prize is five paints of your choice. We've done this a few times before, it's usually been good fun. Can just be a bit of an inspiration to do an extra special paint job on one model or squad. In any case, really looking forward to seeing some fun paint jobs. Finally, I thought I'd talk about a very rare bit of technology upgrading on the channel. As I'm sure most of you have noticed by now, I generally make fairly basic videos, and I tend to improve things very very slowly indeed, due to always prioritising making more interesting videos, rather than getting all introspective and focusing on upgrading the channel bit by bit. I'll admit though, that certainly has its downsides, and I thought January might be a good time to try and upgrade things a bit, and one of the most common requests that I get is my audio. I have just ordered an audio mixer, I'll have an experiment with that whenever I get chance, probably likely after the next set of codexes drop, but in the meantime, this video is recorded on a different YouTube mic. Perhaps the most keen-eared viewers might have noticed the difference in a few videos before Christmas, where some lost luggage meant that regular YouTube mic was lost in the warp for quite some time. I guess my main question in the meantime, is this microphone better or worse than the normal one? This channel update has been entirely recorded on this microphone that you can see pictured, that I just ordered to keep myself tidied over in the interim. I must admit, I do quite like the sound for it, though it does seem to pick up quite a few pops between sentences, and I'm not sure if that quite outweighs the benefits. Let me know what you think though, should I keep on recording on this one? If you feel like comparing, then you could compare to my other videos that have come out so far this week. They were all on the old microphone, this one's on the new one. In any case though, an absolutely massive thank you to all of you guys for listening and supporting. Feel free to check out the Patreon, Discord or Facebook links down in the video description if you're interested in painting contests or giveaways or anything else. Looking forward to all the videos to come for January and the new codexes, and I'll hope to see all of you guys next time.